Hi and welcome back to Yoga with Tim. I'm Tim and today we're going to start off with a little bit of a lying down meditation. So we'll start off in Supta Baddha Konasa with the arms opened up. This is a great position to open up the chest and the shoulders to let the pelvis start to open. So let's begin like that. So visualize your breath traveling in through your nose and moving all the way down towards your belly. Feel the lower lobes of the lungs start to expand. And as your rib cage frees up and the breath starts to move better, feel how the shoulders can open up, tension starts to release in the neck. Then bring your knees together and with uh, keeping the length of your lower back and your neck, reaching the hips out of the lower back without the hips twisting, bring your right leg into tabletop position, and then change legs, bring the left leg up into tabletop position. Change legs. Change legs. Then slide both legs up without the hips twisting and keep the active reach to wake up the spinal muscles. Those are your core, part of your core muscles. The other part is going to keep the rib cage tipped into neutral. So let's practice that now. Take your arms straight up, interlock your fingers. Now without the bottom of your ribs tipping up to the ceiling at all, slowly start to reach your arms back towards the wall behind you. And you'll feel if you do that well, your abdominals turn on. You're holding yourself in neutral. Bring your arms back up. Then take your hands shoulder distance apart, and then as you stretch your right leg forward and push from your hips through your right heel, slowly take the left arm back. Come back up, change sides, back up, change sides, back up, change sides. One more round. And then hug your right knee into your chest as you stretch your left leg out along the floor. Change legs, hug your left knee in as you stretch your right leg out. Hug both knees into your chest and roll your chest up towards your knees. Then tuck your low abs in and reach towards your outer heels. As you inhale, stretch your legs and your arms out. Exhale, curl back in. Reach out. Exhale, tuck in. Reach out and tuck in, two more. And if it aggravates your lower back, you can just do it with one leg extended. Last one. Then set your feet down onto the floor, open your arms out to the side, and with your feet the width of your mat, let your knees twist over to the right, look to your left, Knees to the left, look to your right. Come back to center, hug the knees in and roll up to seated. Then cross your legs and step back into your first down dog. So open up your hands, press down through the four corners of your hands, and at first in the down dog, let's shift forward a little, almost like you're in plank. Really work on activating the arms and reaching even into the hands. 
Then rotate your inner arms forward. And as you press through the four corners of your hands, lift through the center of your hand up into your inner shoulders. Feel your collarbones and the tops of the back ribs, the backs of the top ribs, rather, start to open up. Slowly start to stretch back without losing the firm press of the hands, the rotation of your upper arms, and the spread of the upper ribs. Then shift in a plank pose, bring the shoulders to stack over the heel of the hand and stretch back into dog pose. One more time, glide into plank. Stretch back into dog. Walk your feet forward to the front of your mat. With a little bend in your knees and your feet hip distance apart, let your head start to drop towards the floor. Then roll yourself up. Stand in mountain. Important, just take a moment here to focus on your mountain pose line. So from your ankle to your outer hip, to your shoulder, to your ear, stand tall and set that posture in your body, the neurological pathway to stand up tall. Because we want to recreate this feeling in the spine when we're holding a plank and we're holding a down dog. Spread your arms out to the side, rotate the arms externally, then raise your arms all the way up. Spread the arms out as you fold forward. Inhale into a flat back. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, come all the way back up. Spread the arms, rotate externally and reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back, plank position. Hold in your plank, strong leg, strong core. Then see if you can raise your right leg up an inch without losing the plank feeling or the Tadasana feeling in your spine. Change legs, raise the left leg up an inch. Change legs. Change legs. Nice, you're a professional planker now. Set your knees down onto the floor, lower your chest, and slide your arms all the way forward. <clears throat> Roll those, uh, the bottom, front bottom ribs back down towards your hips so you can open up your lats and your armpit chest. Reach as long as you can past your big toes, past your fingers. Then bend the elbows out to the side Lift the hands up to shoulder height and spread from the elbows away from the midline. Stretch your arms straight back behind you. Roll the shoulder heads up away from the floor as you reach the collarbones forward. Then place your hands next to your side ribs. Press up on the hands and knees or press straight up into plank. And stretch back into dog. Walk your feet to the front of your mat. Inhale, make a flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up, spread the arms. Externally rotate and reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step back into plank pose. Now adding on this round in plank, lift your right leg an inch and then bring your knee up without rounding. Change legs. Change legs and then bring the right knee out to the side like tree. Oh, change sides. Oh, feel the burn. Stretch it back and lower down. This time if you want to do a chuttering a push up, do that. And then lower onto your belly, stretch the arms forward. Then turn the thumbs up, pinky finger side of the hand down. Your upper traps are right here. And when you engage your arm muscle and your shoulder, this should spread from uh, the base of your neck towards your shoulder. Now if your shoulders are really strong and those muscles are pretty open from yoga, 
you might be able to lift your right hand an inch and feel your shoulder turn on to support your arm instead of the upper trap bunch into your neck. See if you can do it on the other side. If it's going well, if you're able to do it, lift both hands up. If not, just push the hands down and firm your arm muscles and work on spreading those muscles. Then bend the elbows out to the side. Same thing here, if they're gripping up to hold the arms out to the side, then just push the hands down and work on spreading. Stretch both arms straight back, roll the chest open, place your hands next to your side ribs, press up into plank pose, and stretch back into down dog. Stretch your right leg up from the inner thigh, bring knee to chest, shift into plank and pull up, step your foot up by your thumb. Lower your back knee, inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Stay upright as you twist to your right and spread your arms. Come back up, raise the arms. Hands down to the mat, curl your back toes and lift the back knee up and stretch the back inner leg as long as you can as you lengthen through your spine. Step back into down dog. Raise your left leg up from the inner thigh. Bring your knee to your chest, shift into plank and pull up. Step your foot all the way up by your thumb. Lower your back knee down. Inhale, raise your arms up. Bring your hands to prayer. Stay upright as you twist and spread the arms. Come back up to center, hands down to the mat, lift the back knee up and lengthen through the tail through the back inner heel as you reach forward through the side ribs. Step back into down dog. Look in between your hands, step walk or hop up to the front of your mat. Inhale into a flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up, raise your arms. Exhale, release your arms down at your side. <clears throat> then bring your right heel up onto the inside of your left thigh for rickshaws and tree pose. Join your palms together. Then once you're steady, raise your arms all the way up. Then hold here or slide your hands behind your head in prayer position. Release your arms, release your leg. Change sides, shift the weight into the right foot, bring your left heel up. Hands to prayer. Once you're steady, raise the arms. Hold there, slide hands behind the head. slowly release. Good, then step your, uh, oh, blocks handy if you like blocks your standing poses. Step your uh, right foot back, legs wide apart, and spread your arms out to the side. So have your 10 toes pointing straight ahead, press down through the four corners of your feet, and feel your waist back into its neutral position, just like how we start on the back. We don't want the ribs to sink forward, so we're connected, holding ourselves from the center. Then turn your legs to the right for warrior two. Left foot angles in a little bit, right leg turns all the way out, bend the right knee. Then from here, let's go right into side angle. Place your hand onto the outside of your foot on the block or forearm to the, your thigh if you don't have a block. Take your arm all the way over your ear. 
Then can you reconnect into the four corners of your back foot? Make sure that your waist isn't sinking forward. All four sides of the waist long. And rotate your top arm externally. Turn the tricep in towards your face as you reach past your fingers. Press through your feet, lift your belly, come back up. Then with your le right leg straight, reach out for triangle pose. Press through your feet and come back up. Turn your legs to the other side. Bend your knee for warrior two. And keep the four sides of your waist tall, long as you press through the four corners of your feet. Then bring forearm to thigh or place your hand down onto the outside of your foot on the block. Take your arm all the way over your ear. Come back up, straighten your leg, and reach out into triangle pose. Press to your feet and come back up. Turn your toes in so your feet are parallel. Join your legs together for a moment and stand in mountain. Arda Chandrasana. Take the legs wide apart again. Spread your arms. So this is a great pose to help to build strength and stability in your outer hip. And it's also going to help with your balance, your coordination. So reach out into triangle first. Now, if, it starts, if you start to feel unstable or if you feel that your spine hunches over to balance, it's better to just work on triangle until you, until you feel like you master triangle. Otherwise, if the triangle is going well, bend your knee, slide your hand a foot in front of your pinky toe, and then start to, as you reach down into the four corners of your right foot, balance the hip right over the ankle and then start to grow the back leg longer. Bend your knee and slide back into triangle. Press through your feet, come back up, and turn your legs to the other side. All right, reach out over your left leg. Bend knee, slide hand, step up, watch out for tree. And as you press into that foot evenly, feel the hip balance right over the ankle. Make sure that your knee is pointing in the same line as your second toe. The knee isn't twisted in, so turn the thigh in the hip socket. Then grow your back leg long through your lower back. And then if you can start to straighten the uh, left leg, keeping the even contact with the four corners of your foot. If you need to keep a little micro bend, that's fine. And slowly come back into triangle. Open up. Press into your feet. Come back up to stand. Then for this next one, I like to have a strap or a towel or a t-shirt, something that I could hold on to. But it's up to you. You could just interlock your hands behind your back instead, if that works better. But I really find that with my tight shoulders pressing out into the loop of a strap, it's super nice. So here we go, hands behind your back, either hands clasped or pressing out into a strap or just holding a towel. Open up the eyes of your heart, which those are right here, but without pushing forward through the bottom of your ribs. Grow the spine tall through the midline, then start to tip from your hips and fold forward. And 
Notice if your legs are trying to lock to avoid the muscles turning on and stretching instead. Soft through the knees, soft through the ankles, press through your feet. Feel the legs turn on and then grow the hips taller up over the ankles. Then release that. And next variation, hook your big toes. And as you inhale, elongate. Exhale, lengthen further into the pose without locking the shins back. Notice how real quickly your ankles don't want to push back, your knees don't want to push back. Instead, soften through the ankles and knees, press through the feet even. And just feel how your back can open up better when you're standing on your feet properly. Inhale into a flat back. Press through your feet, come up to stand. Turn your left leg out and step up to the top. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step back into down dog. Then from down dog, let's go into side plank. Set your left knee down, left hand underneath your shoulder, heel the hand under the shoulder, and open up to the side. So you can um, press down into that hand even again, bring your head back into line with your spine, find mountain post spine, hold there, or if your balance is good, try raising your top leg up an inch. Cheat the foot over a little. Okay, that's better. Then slowly with control, bring your hand back down and your knee down and change sides. And again, if the balance is good, then try lifting your top leg up just an inch. Stay long through the sides of your waist so your core is working to hold your leg. Slowly with control, come back down and stretch back into dog. Then come into a seated position. Put your feet right out in front of you. And then I'm gonna have you hold the block right here to your chest. If you don't have a block, you can pretend like you have a block, you could use a book or something. Lean back in between your tailbone and your sit bones. Then as you engage your core, lift your feet up. And then bring the block over to the right. Back up to center. And over to the left. Back up to center. Over to the right. Back up. And over to your left. Let's do that 40 more times. Just kidding. Over to the right. Over to the left. Last one. Over to the right. Over to the left. Then hold, send your block forward, engage your abs, turn on your triceps, and then see if you can start to lift your feet up without sinking back. And release. Oh, okay. Now lie down onto your back. And we're gonna work on strengthening the backs of the legs and the glutes, and then try to open up those tight muscles in the, that were working in the front of your hips. So press down into your feet, and then from your outer hip bones right here, pin in and squeeze towards your knees as you roll your chest open. Then slowly lower your buttock back down. And now bring your feet in a little closer, 
So just like an inch or two apart. Uh, or maybe even hip socket. Press to your feet and roll up. Now as you press into the left foot without twisting, see if you can bring the right leg up. Neck stays long, jaw relax. Lower that leg down and bring the other leg up. Change sides. And change sides. Good, lower that leg down. Then lift your hips way up. Take a hold of the sides of the sticky mat, four fingers on your thumbs on top. Now rotate your shoulders externally and press the outer top shoulders down. Hold here or position your hands for Urva Dhanurasana. Still keep the neck free, engage the backs of the legs, turn the elbows in, and then lower yourself back down. Open your arms out to the side, cross your right ankle over your left knee. Then slowly let the legs fall over to the left. over to the right. Come back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Take happy baby. Then lower your feet down for Shavasana, course pose. Let your body completely relax. Let the feet fall open. Let go of tension in your legs and your hips. Let your shoulders, your arms relax. Relax the jaw and the tongue. From head to toe, completely let go. Then bend your knees, roll over to your side. And press yourself up to seated. Bring your palms together, sit up tall. Thank you, namaste. Thanks so much for joining me today. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, 
Um, leave a comment below and let me know what you thought and if there's some other things that you'd like to see in the near future. And then also, uh, if you haven't already, head over to timsonsyoga.com and sign up uh, to become a member of the community. Love to have you be a part of it. Subscribe to the channel as well and have a great day. See you next time.